In this module, we would look at a specific application of Tijara and that is uh, of Islamic aircraft leasing. A number of aircraft deals in the countries like UAE and elsewhere are actually based on Ijara. Now, this seems like a very simple, straightforward use of Ijara in case of aircraft financing, but there are some major Sharia issues involved. If I highlight one, that would that would tell us how serious a Sharia issue could be. Just imagine that an Islamic bank has actually financed uh, uh, an aircraft for an airline like Emirates Airlines. So when we use leasing, what happens? The bank would buy the aircraft from the aircraft manufacturing company and would then lease it to Emirates Airlines. Now, as we know that Emirates Airlines has got duty-free shop. So, it sells a number of items on board, including alcohol and tobacco, etc. And of course, it does serve alcohol to its customers. Now, what should be the treatment of this kind of activities if the bank is actually the owner of the aircraft. It has just leased this aircraft to the airline. The income, the rental coming out of this arrangement, would it be Sharia compliant? Would it be halal or what? So there are solutions to this one. For example, in case of the duty free shop, the the Sharia boards have taken the view that this duty free shop component that is a separate line of business and it has nothing to do with the main business of the airline, which is actually transportation of the passengers. When it comes to serving of the alcohol, this is something more serious. And the Sharia view is that ideally, like Pakistan International Airlines and like Kuwait Airlines and like some other airlines, they don't serve alcohol. Emirates Airlines should not be serving alcohol on board as well. However, given that this is not happening and Islamic banks would like to enter into this kind of uh, transactions, then an exception could be created because the main business of the company would be taken into account and that is the transportation of the passengers which is a Sharia compliant activity and the rental paid by Emirates Airlines actually is independent of its revenue from different activities. For example, if the revenue earned by Emirates Airlines goes down for a certain time period, its rental obligations towards the Islamic bank would not change. So given this kind of relaxations, it is still possible to go for Islamic aircraft leasing, which is happening in quite a number of countries. Let us look at the structure. So we have a bank, we have Emirates Airlines, Say Dubai Islamic Bank. Dubai Islamic Bank has agreed to finance what we call purchase of Boeing 777. It's actually not purchase, but because you know, this is something we use in our daily language. Otherwise, this is a lease arrangement. Even I saw in uh, the newspaper, Kush Din Pehle, ye khabar thi ke Pakistan ne Apna pehla Boeing 777 is sal ka khareed li. But actually, that is a lease based arrangement. Khareeda wagaira nahi. So, the bank would actually buy Boeing 777 uh, from the Boeing, the company, and would enter into a lease agreement for a certain time period. Maybe it's for five years, it could be for seven years depending on 
the Emirates Airlines uh, policy for keeping the uh, keeping certain aircraft in operation. Okay, so this is actually aircraft uh, financing with the help of Ijara. This is a plain vanilla product in the sense that you know at the end of the financing period, the bank actually takes the aircraft back. Unlike Ijara Muntahiya Bitamli and unlike Ijara Wa Iktina, this is a pure Ijara kind of contract, a pure Ijara mode of financing which is based on the classical Ijara contract with some kind of provision. Still, it is an Islamic mode of financing because insurance and so many other things are wrapped around the basic Ijara structure. However, this is a very good example of plain vanilla use of Ijara, which is also happening in case of some rent a car deals as, as well. Uh, a quite a few years back, there was a deal in which an Islamic bank actually financed fleet of, uh, I think, uh, Hertz or budget rent a car so that in, in Saudi Arabia. So, a lot of this kind of uh, Ijara based transactions, Ijara based financing transactions are taking place in the market. Given that this is a rather simple structure, the main contracts and documents in this case are sale and purchase agreement between bank and Boeing, for example, lease agreement between the bank and the airline, insurance takaful cover, and of course, a service level agreement. The service level agreement is important because especially in case of aircraft, Dubai Islamic Bank would not get a good deal for servicing of the aircraft. Airlines, they have very good contacts in that domain and hence they would be getting very good deals, uh, appropriate and suitable for their business. A bank would find it very difficult to enter into this kind of maintenance contract with the vendors. 